It really is a superior driving experience driving an electric vehicle. The responsiveness, the feel, the convenience of having a full charge every morning in your own garage. There's a lot of, of really attractive benefits there. First of all, it's fun to drive. It has a smoothness. It reminds you of being in an airplane taking off, no gears shifting, zero emissions. The acceleration is phenomenally fast, 0 to 60 in about 3.7 seconds. We use a copper rotor for maximum efficiency and more performance per pound. The best material we have to conduct electricity is copper. Copper is almost twice as good a conductor as aluminum. Copper rotor motors are unique from the standpoint that you can get a lot more horsepower into a smaller package and then gear it down. A lower resistance rotor means a lot of torque and it's going to run cooler. The induction motor in the Roadster, it's almost 300 horsepower, yet it only weighs about 100 pounds. Because there's less um, electrical loss in the rotor, that therefore translates directly into how fast you can accelerate, how fast you can sustain high speeds. If you have a rotor that has a little bit better efficiency, that means the battery can be a little bit lighter and cheaper. That means the rest of the vehicle structure can be a little bit lighter. So there are multiplied effects through the whole vehicle design. We chose the copper rotor induction motor over rare earth permanent magnet motors because they're very rugged, they're very low materials cost, much lower materials cost than, than rare earth permanent magnets. 97% of the neodymium that is used in permanent magnet uh, rotors comes from China. And recently China has started reducing their export of these materials. It's a huge advantage to not be dependent on other countries that might curtail the supply of those materials. The Hemet A3 is a heavy expanded mobility tactical truck used by the Army. The copper motors are integrated into the axles. Oshkosh truck wanted a very power dense motor, which means as much horsepower in the smallest package as possible. And they also wanted it to be energy efficient. Having the copper rotor design allowed us to achieve performance, cost, and weight targets from the standpoint of torque density, power density, and efficiency. The copper rotor motor design that we have today uh, still stands out as best in class. As we transition you know, further from a fossil fuel economy to a renewable energy economy, electric vehicles can be a key piece of that. If you're in a case where you're trying to save energy, which is where we all are, uh, there's an incentive to use copper. When we're looking at pushing efficiency levels, we need to look at copper. When we need to increase power density, we look to copper. And when we need to run at high speeds, we look to copper. In a world where we're building millions of electric vehicles, I think the copper rotor induction motor will be the technology of choice to make that happen.